we got a little recovery today down here at Drake Cement Plant. Um, looks like a set of pneumatics tipped over. Um, we're gonna go down and check it out, see what's going on. I'm flying solo today, Gabe's. Gabe's got a lot on his plate these days, so it's just it's just me and Dakota. Dakota's already on scene. I'm running behind a little bit. I had to come from Flagstaff. I was I was at my Flagstaff location doing some welding on an axle. So we're gonna see how it goes. Dakota's not really familiar with the rotator, so I just got him on scene, checking it out. He sent me some pictures already. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good little recovery, so you just stand by. So I gotta go in here to this little safety office here and uh, you gotta have full PPE gear and all that stuff, so. How's it going? I'm with Murphy Stelling. I'm here for that trailer that laid over. Okay, do you have a hard hat with you? Yes, sir. Okay, hold on. Five miles an hour on the plant at all times. Yes, no sir. Matter where I'm at. If you're gonna go down this road, just past that huge storage building on the right, the last one that you can see, it's where they dump all that gypsum, right? There you yeah, go. I've, yeah, I've stood a couple of them all up right. here. Okay. Turn right there and you'll see the man. Yes, sir. All Thank right. you. Back in here a little ways. You've seen it. Laid over. About to lay all the way over. We're gonna stand it back up real quick. So you just stand by. Get my hard hat on. I come prepared. I've got my own hard hat. No big deal. It's almost empty. This is all from it. He got most of it out.
So what happens is when they start spreading that material out, it gets they gets big windrows and then the axles, the tires run over it and it causes the trailers to roll over. These puff trailers, they roll over really easy. So he's digging it out right now to try to get get the ground more level so he didn't tip his trailer over again. This is the third one I've picked up here. I've picked up two pub trailers like that right there. And I picked up uh, one out on the corner of the whole truck and trailer laid over on its side coming out, coming around by the railroad tracks right there. And then we picked uh, a set of pneumatics up on 89. Um, I believe the driver hit an elk and then laid them both over. They were loaded. He's gonna drive around in circles now and try to get his both trailers emptied out. See if he lays it over again. There she goes, another satisfied customer. All right, let's go up front. Well, that's it. We came, we saw, we recovered. You stay classy, old beat up aluminum pneumatic trailer.